everyone, I'm Stephanie, and welcome back to So Many Things. Today we've got a fun project for you new moms. It's called the Lullaby Sleep Sack. It's from Peekaboo Patterns, and it is quite a versatile pattern. So it starts out as a sleep sack, your traditional sleep sack, and once it gets into the larger sizes, then it becomes a footed sleep sack. So this pattern comes with both options, and it will fit a child up to a 5T, if I'm not mistaken. So you can make it multiple times and your child will love having the new creations, the new fabrics, the new style every time they outgrow one of their sacks. You can also alter this so that you can have like a summer fabric and a winter fabric so that you can adjust the temperature of the sleep sack. The back piece is cut on the fold. Place it making sure you follow your grain and the stretch works with the pattern. Cut the back piece. For the front, you will need two mirror images. I folded my fabric to try and optimize it. I also flipped the pattern piece. This is okay as long as you are still following the grain of the fabric. Cut your pieces out. Lay your two front pieces right sides together and mark one half an inch from the straight edge. Base this seam. Now it's time to apply our zipper. Place it face down over the basting stitches that you just did. Measure three quarters of an inch down from the top of the neckline and pin the zipper making sure that it is centered on your basting line. Once sewn in place, Sew the remaining seam at the bottom and unstitch your basting to expose your zipper. Place your backing right sides together with your front piece. Pin at the shoulders and all the way around the outside leaving the arms open. Stitch the shoulders and around the outside. I chose a matching color of jersey for the neckband and armbands. The pattern lists the size of the bands needed. Cut the bands. I also took a piece of scrap and cut the snap piece. You will need two of these right sides together. Sew the armbands at the short end and mark your center. Pin the center at the shoulder and the seam at the armpit. Stretch to fit your in-betweens. Make sure not to overstretch as your main fabric also has stretch. Do this for both arms. Sew on the armbands. Fold over the backing, leaving your seam out so your band goes over it. Tuck under your raw edge on the back and pin in place. Sew in place directly on the seam. To hide stitches. Mm -hmm. 
Mark your neckband at the center and attach to the center of the neckline. I forgot to round my corners, so go ahead and round those now if you haven't already. Pin edge at zipper and stretch to fit to the center. Repeat for other half. Sew in place. Fold your seam down into the sleep sack and pin in place, ready to top stitch. Top stitch in place. While you're at the sewing machine, sew around the three edges of your snap. Trim your edges. Turn inside out. Apply to seat sleep sack at the zipper. Pin in place along the seam line. Stitch in place. Apply your snap. Double check your alignment before placing the final snap. Your sleep sack is complete. If you have any questions or comments for me or just want to show off your great work, please put them in the comments below. As always, Please like, subscribe, and push the bell, no bell button for notifications. If you've liked this and want to see more, please follow me on Facebook where you can find more great content of, and a little bit of what I've been up to during the week when I'm not filming YouTube videos. Thanks for sewing with me.